Hi, kindergarten. It's Miss Hartman here, and today we're going to be counting in a circle. So a lot of times when my kindergarten students begin to count, they like to count objects when they're all put together like this, and they're all mixed together in a group, and they start counting. And we, we need to stop ourselves and say, hold on a second. This is not a really good way to organize information. So that's why we've been learning how to count objects in a line. We've been learning how to count objects and make sets that we recognize with arrangements. We also learned this week how to count using an array to help organize information. But today is tricky because we are going to learn how to count in a circle. Sometimes objects are in the form of a circle. So we need to come up with efficient strategies to help our brains remember how to count efficiently and not overcount. So for example, if I were to count this circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait a minute, I think I hold on a second. And you might lose track of where you began because a circle is round and it has no beginning and no end. So it's important for you to make a mental memory of where you begin. So even if you can't use a marker, and draw on your board or draw on the object, you want to think, where do I want to start? And that's where you will not count that one again. So when I look at my circle, I like to start at the top. So I'm going to touch the top counter and I'm going to think to myself, when I give this, this counter the number one and I assign the number one to this counter, when I go back around my circle, when I get here, I know I'm not going to count this one again because this one I already assigned a number one to. I can even imagine in my brain that that is where the number one will be. Okay, so I'm going to practice that. And as I count around, you can go ahead and say stop when I get here so that you can give me the notice to stop counting and not count this one twice. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you said stop. I have to stop right here. So I have eight circles. Good counting. Another way I can keep track of my count is to remove and draw a representation of my object. So. As I touch each one, I will remove it and draw a circle to represent it. So I'm picking this one up and I'm going to draw a little circle. And I'm going to put that over to the side. And as I pick this one up, I'm going to draw a little circle in its place. Now this takes some time, but it does help you to create one circle representation for each counter. And at the end of it, you will have a picture representation of your circle in your count. And it will help you to organize the information. You'll see very soon how this will actually help you because you are drawing. Now you will be able to keep count in a different way. I'm almost done recording all of the counters that I had. I have to go slow and pace myself, make sure I'm getting the correct count. Now I have a picture representation of what my counters looked like. And I can start at the top again, but this time, since I drew it, I can actually mark it and remember I counted. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already know I don't have to count that one. I have eight inside my circle this time. And as I marked it, I knew that I didn't need to count it a second time. Today, I'd like you to try making a circle with this many objects. See if you can create a circle with this many objects. You can start with your counters and you can put your counters down in the shape of a circle but you only want to come up with this many, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I have a circle and I'm going to practice counting seven. 
again, I could do it with my mental memory. I could just take a picture in my eye of this very top circle and think about where it is. Maybe I do this with my brain. When I'm looking at that, I might think, okay, this is the one I'm going to start with. So when I go around, I want to be able to stop before I get to that one. Don't count that one twice. Keep your eye on that counter. You tell me when to stop when I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I heard you say stop. There I have seven. This time I'm going to pick each one up and draw a circle to represent. I could just do a dot also. If you want to just do a little dot as you pick each one up, that's absolutely fine too. I'm still recording what I had there as I count around my circle. And you see I'm going pretty slow, so I'm not going to be inefficient with my count. I want it to be accurate. So when I count, it should equal number seven. I can just cross it as I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice job today. Try to pick three more numbers and see if you can create a circle and count around the circle to represent. I would suggest picking numbers that are between the numbers seven, to maybe 12. I think those would be good numbers. So what numbers come in between 7 and 12? Let's list them. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. So pick three of these numbers and see if you can create a different circle pattern to count today. Have a great time in math.